Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of All The Mods 6. How are you guys doing today? How's life? I'm hoping life is great but the universe has a tendency of not listening to me, so don't quote me on that. At first I thought we should start today's episode by a little bit of building. But, we need to start today's episode by fixing a few problems. Essence. This tank that you see over here had almost 1000 buckets of essence and since I've been using it, now we're down to 500. And you guys have been telling me that in the recent update of mob grinding utilities, there is something called dreadful dirt, which is apparently a substitute for cursed dirt. Honestly speaking, I have absolutely no idea if it's going to be better for our mob farm or not because, well, this is a sky block, we get tons of mobs. When I'm not here, obviously. But that is something that we can at least try to get. We have to feed this to the chickens. That should give us a rotten egg which will convert an area of 5x5 to dreadful dirt. I don't really know if it spreads but we're going to make a few. So my dear friend, have some food. Breeding chickens is not paying off. Maybe we should just spawn a few and call it a day? Yeah, that's good. Since we're using a mob crusher we don't need vector plates anymore. Oh we got a ton of garbage. I know it's incredibly difficult to see but I'm just switching all the blocks with dirt. And so far it does not seem that I have missed anything. So how do you work? We just throw you? Yes. Holy! We run. Uh, <laughs> so this is an issue. How do I get in? Oh we get slimes! We do this really fast. And then run. Well this was a huge improvement. Thank you. But the weird part is that we are also getting the slimes from Tinkers. Anyways, now that the issue with the essence has been solved, you might notice that the tower that you see in front of you is not exactly the tower of an old wise kind wizard. Cause I don't want to be an old kind wise wizard, I want to be evil. But just a little bit, I can't be that evil, I'm too adorable. A bit of a narcissist and terrible at placing torches. I thought if we want to do mana and artifice, it's boring to do it inside one room, we should make a tower. That was a ghast. I have no idea which mod does that, but it's a silly joke. Obviously it is not complete and it needs a tremendous amount of details. We even need to terraform this mountain over here and I don't know, maybe cover it in blackstone and basalt. So that maybe we can make this place a little bit sinister. One thing that I have forgotten is that now that we have access to tinkers, we have access to clear glass. So let us make a bit that is emerald. Yes, this one is glass. Fair enough, nothing has changed, we can still cast it. Another thing that we should probably start adding is blood. And that was a quest. I think with this one we should be okay, right? That is 9 buckets. I don't know if you can get a bucket of blood using a tier 1 blood altar, but we will find out soon enough. Yes, we can. So maybe black paints are slightly better than red? I don't know. And I was hoping we can use the bucket of blood for this. It's actually not that bad. Well, I would say it looks slightly more decent with the blood, but uh, that's politically incorrect. So it does look much better with life essence. It is life essence, right? Yes. I always found it weird, the mod is called blood magic, the fluid is called life essence. Anyways, I was hoping that we can make some basalt. We can make it using a pedestal with basalt. We have been to the other dimension and we had access to a little bit of blackstone and a little bit of basalt. And I have actually used the pedestal in order to get blackstone. Now we are going to use it in order to get basalt. By the way, that was an enchanted pedestal upgrade and I don't know, in like 5 minutes we got quarter of a million blackstone. You see, this is how fast we are getting basalt. I think that's enough. I'm actually very bad at terraforming but the thing that I had in mind was that maybe we can have random basalt structures like this. To be honest it's not the worst idea. Anyways that base is going to be used for our magic mods and we need some sort of a storage. And since I always go with applied energistics maybe this time we have a refined storage. And maybe see if it's any good. They have changed it so much, you just have to cook them. That's it. It also has a controller but we are going to make the creative version because I think we can. Yes exactly. Uh, did you know that refined storage has an infinite storage part? So the storage is infinite? I really have to try this, we need more slimes. And definitely more string. I don't know if this is something that I can craft manually or not, but um, I'm assuming we need a lot of resources. So maybe instead of doing it manually, I should just set patterns. Actually, I'm glad I started to set patterns because this is kind of ridiculous. This is 1 billion storage. But on a positive note, that is the final step. I have set in all the patterns, if we want to make one infinite storage cell, what do we need? I forgot to set a recipe for you. 
but I have set a recipe for you. It's weird, maybe we're just missing the old modium, that's it, and we should have plenty over here. Four and a half stacks of nuggets, that should be more than enough. This is so confusing, it's telling me that it's missing this guy, but I already have it on auto crafting. Yeah, I just crafted one, it did recognize it, because this was 86, now it's 85. Oh, but this is kind of expensive, we need almost 1 million sand. Aha. Uh -huh. Actually, this got me pretty excited. I think it's a nice project. I'm not going to use refined storage that much, but I would like to have infinite storage. Here are the items that we're missing. We're missing a million sand, 70,000 string, 40,000 slime, 160,000 iron, and almost 300,000 quartz. So welcome to all the mods, Kappa mode. First things first, I did reprogram our ore miner to get resources instead of ores, now we need to convert it back. Very good, very good, we are getting the resources. And just in case you're wondering how fast we are getting resources, this is the speed. Because in between the episodes I did install a few more machines in order to keep up with the ore miner. We are not producing that much sand because we only have one crusher for it, but over here we do have a facility which is making us gunpowder. And so far it has given us 1 million gunpowder and the reason that we didn't get any more gunpowder is that our storage is full. So I think here's how we're going to do this. We're going to break the enrichment factory and we just add one more crusher and we should not lose them so we put them over here. I upgraded the machines to the final tier and then I realized that if we have three crushers we're going to get dust and not sand. We're already getting the sand so we need to just import it into our applied energistic system. That's it. There you go. Another thing that we should do is that we need to increase the speed that we can process silicon. So we do have the unobtainium furnace and I'm assuming we can configure you? Yes. So now the question is, if I want to make 1000 silicon, how fast are you? The ME system is not keeping up. <laughs> okay, you have to set it on auto output. I do not recommend using this, it's incredibly laggy. I wish I would have started the project before making the tower itself because uh, by this time we would have had all the items we needed. But in any case, do not be worried. There is a solution for everything. We need almost 2200 of these guys. The problem is that even in order to make 100 of them, we don't have the CPU capacity. So I think our first order of business is to upgrade this CPU. Now we can craft 100 of it. That's not bad. That was a llama. Okay, we can make 100 of it. How about 150? Uh, the CPU is not enough. It is perfectly fine. I can add more CPUs. Surely this is going to be enough. Yes, it is enough, but that is almost 800,000 bytes. It's more than Project Ozone. This crafting is going to take a while, obviously. Oh, and by the way, I did decide to make some of these material stonework factories in 1.16. They're basically garbage. And this is the speed that I'm actually getting glass. I mean, it's okay. I have added more crushers, more smelters, so we should be fine. But you might be asking yourself, Lush, what about the slimes and the string? When we made the mob farm over here, I was actually thinking of this, so we have two extra cages. And obviously we're going to use one of them for slime and the other one for spiders. If I have not messed it up, we should get slimes, yes. And I would say that is a decent speed. He came out. Since the slimes are not going to be very cooperative, maybe we can fix it using our mob farm over here. I do admit this is a manual mob farm, but we do have a means of killing them. Automatically and using Mahutsukai. Which is also not that bad, because it should give me tons of mana. Although you might think that there are a lot of entities over there and it's eventually going to crash my game, but you should remember that a mob duplicator from Industrial Forgoing has a failsafe. Whenever there are 30 mobs within its working area, it's not going to spawn anymore. So now the problem is, I need a spider. But thankfully this is a skyblock, getting mobs is easy. Doing crafting like this is actually really good, because it will show us the flaws in our system. For example, spiders are not very good in an upside down mob farm, but sheep are okay. Another thing that I have noticed is that one of the main reasons that we need so many quartz is because of silicon. This is the pattern that I'm using for silicon. You take one nether quartz, you crush it, you combine it with a sand, you will get the seed, you put it inside an enrichment factory and you will get the pure version and then you smelt it to get silicon. That is a five step process. Why is it important? Because in order to make 100 of these guys, it will take almost one hour. And I'm assuming most of the reason for that is because of silicon. I do have a block of redstone down there, so can we just extract the items? Yes. Yes, you can extract from the site. That is good. And I think I'm going to dedicate this area for silicon. So I'm assuming by doing this we should be able to cut the time we need in order to make all the processors by a lot. I just ordered 2000 of them and wanted to see how bad everything is. It's actually not as bad as you would think. Because we're only missing 5000 wool, which is nothing. 
Slimes are almost done. You might notice that we are only missing 100,000 pieces of quartz and that is because we need 1 million silicon. Another thing that we need in very large quantities is sand which is 825,000 which we will get anyways. And iron that we are missing 130,000. That has me worried. Actually it's not that bad because we were missing 160,000. That means that we got 30,000 in the process. So I think we have just entered the waiting game. That's it. Yes, we are getting extra seats. That is good. Uh, only five. Uh, maybe crafting it is easier. Yeah, I think crafting the silicon seed is much easier than doing this. Because you know, with one patch of farmland, we're never going to get half a million silicon. I just turned it off and I wanted to see if we're missing any slimes. No. <laughs> that was good for my mahu. I'm happy. Well, I AFK'd for a few hours and we have a situation. I know that sometimes when I make cuts like this, someone is going to come in the future and tell me that how do we know you didn't cheat in the items? So just for that one person, here is our ingot situation, redstone, and even crystals from environmental tech. Because normally when you want to cheat in the items, you have to cheat in this one, not the resources you need, because those are millions. Anyways, we need exactly 2000 of these storage parts. Since our CPUs are not big enough, we're going to start with 150. And see how it goes? That is 69,000 silicon. <laughs> Is there a cheaty way of using you? Cause burning quartz in order to get silicon takes time and this one can process one stack every tick. I'm just going to export certain quartz into the unobtainium furnace. It's going to be laggy, but it should be over soon. Yeah, this is how fast we are making silicon. Okay, it will be over soon. Too laggy. Um, can't we make the rainbow furnace? Maybe that is better? Cause in the comments, someone was actually suggesting that we make the rainbow furnace and it will be fast enough. I don't know. Rainbow plating, we need eight. Oh, we're missing furnace and gold. Okay, here is your furnace, here is your gold, and I don't know, make me two sets. And then we also need to make the core, which is basically just a lot of glass. There you go, two cores and two rainbow furnaces. Well, it does process one stack at a time, but this is not a very good speed. I would say it's a little bit better than an ultimate smelting factory. It's okay, we're going to go with the unobtainium furnace, and I'm going to be okay with the lag. Ladies and gentlemen, we're 12% there. I mean, we do have the resources, it's just the crafting. So can I order 100 more? Yes, we are actually crafting at a decent speed. All right, guys, in between the cutscenes, I did spend a little bit of time trying to decorate the tower. We now have a staircase, which we can use in order to get in. Technically, we're never going to use it because we have flight, but you know, you should always have a staircase. I also worked a little bit on the interior. We have another staircase, which will lead to the second floor, which is going to be the area for our mana and artifice. So most of our gizmos are going to be here. I have no idea what to do with this floor, but we will figure something out. You guys have been telling me that there is something called a stasis chamber from industrial foregoing and that will keep the wither alive whenever we're mining him for aether gas. I don't think we are going to ever need more aether gas but I did put the stasis chamber to good use. We have some vindicators in sulfuric acid. Unfortunately the sulfuric acid from mechanism in this version of minecraft does not actually kill you. They take suffocation damage and the stasis chamber keeps them alive. So it's nice we have a few mobs for display. I also wanted to have a wither in the stasis chamber but the problem is whenever you have withers uh, the sky becomes dark and I don't really like that. Anyways, how are we doing on infinite storage? I have done a decent amount of pre-crafting. You might notice that we have 71,000 basic processors and you know, we have 22,000 of the raw basic processor. We also have 136,000 enriched quartz. And the main reason that I did all of that pre-crafting was to determine how much quartz I can burn. Cause you know, our main bottleneck is silicon. We can burn quartz, but I also needed quartz in order to make the enriched iron. We had around 220,000 Certus Quartz, which I already burned them all. And since it seems that we only need like 8,500 more enriched iron, I can burn almost half a million Quartz. And the way that I do that is kind of stupid, but I don't think I have any other choice. This is the unobtainium furnace. And I just go to the interface and export the item that I want to smelt. It's incredibly laggy, but look how fast it works. This is how fast we're getting silicon. It's almost 1000 per second. And since I don't really want to mess it up, let us order 10,000 more enriched iron so that just in case I burn extra quartz, we will be safe. At the speed that we're smelting everything, this should be done in like five minutes. And honestly speaking, I don't have problems with lag for five minutes. Meanwhile, we need to craft 20,000 more improved processors and 40,000 basic processors. I honestly enjoy this kind of crafting because you're not just hoarding resources, you're using them. Most of these drives were red. I think that should be enough silicon. Now I can use the furnace in order to make processors. And now that we have a decent amount of resources, can we make 200? Yes. Can we make 300? Yes. 400? Okay. Then we go with 400. 
I had to wait for the crafting to be finished so that we know how many are we missing. So if we order one infinite storage part, we are missing only 940. So if I order 940 over here, obviously we cannot craft it because we don't have the processing power, but we do have all the raw material. We just need 14,000 more of the basic processor, 5,000 of the advanced and 2,000 of the improved. And we also need 29,000 silicon, which is fine, we have plenty. Another thing that I remembered is that we need like 40 nether stars? Yes, 42. So let us order that one as well. Cause you know, it is daytime and during nighttime, it's not very safe to use it. So here is something very stupid. We need a lot of these 1k storage parts, right? And if I want to craft, I don't know, 200 of them, this is the speed that we're getting it. It's not the worst, but just out of curiosity, can we improve that speed by having a crafter from RF tools? We don't need to infuse it, right? It's just reduced power. Okay, obviously this is just for testing purposes and I'm going to remove it very soon. I just wanted to see if it makes any difference. So we make a pattern, we remove the old pattern and we just put the new pattern in U. So let us order 1000 and see what happens. Oh, I should have set filters. Honestly speaking, I think it's much faster. Look. I like that. Let us push it to the limit. We want to craft 500 of the expensive ones, so we need 31,000 of the 1k storage parts. Will you keep up? It's actually really nice. Look how fast it's crafting. After we're done with this craft, there's only 400 left. It's just that the ME system is not keeping up with exporting the items. That's our problem. There is a creative crafter from creative crafters, and it seems to be for refined storage. It can handle 60,000 blocks per tick. That is really crazy. There you go, we almost have everything except the processor. So let us order the final badge. We are missing a few bits and pieces, but it's not that terrible. We need like, I don't know, 100 of these. So the system should be able to handle it. So ladies and gentlemen, that was almost 1.9 million resources, but we're not done. Because now we need to make this guy, which is no longer that expensive. Okay, craft it for me then. I cannot believe it's done. We have it. Although, since I'm really bad at refined storage, what do we do with it? Infinite storage disk. So can I make it now? Yes. And if you guys remember, we already made the creative controller, which should be ready. I cannot place it down. Oh, it was connected to the other one. Okay. If I put you in, you're not going to crash my game. Good. Maybe it is actually infinite. I don't know. Anyways, we are going to move it to our new base and we are going to use it over here. Can I change the color? Yes, much better. Now that I have actually crafted this, I understand why most of you guys are a fan of refined storage. Because if you also make the creative crafter, you can automate everything with just four blocks. That might be something incredibly efficient, but you might notice that on this channel, we don't really go for efficiency. Anyways, I just edited the footage and it seems we don't have enough time in order to go to the other dimension and hunt a few dragons. Also, the pack has been updated and they have added a lot of recipes for creative items. I haven't updated the pack yet, so I have no idea what those creative recipes are, but I will try and do that in between the episodes. Anyhow, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, bye bye.